Tejas and Donbass. Today is the 7th of February. We're in Petrovsky District on a humanitarian mission with Donbass Human Aid. Today, we're bringing some more mats for the Judo Club of Ilya Muromets. A year ago, we bought them brand new mats at school number 100 here in Petrovsky, one of the heaviest bombed areas of the whole city of Donetsk. Um, the Ilya Muromets Judo Club, sports club, has been very successful. It has expanded. They now have a new uh, place here at the House of Culture for the Petrovsky District. We've brought them some more mats because they have a bigger room now, more kids coming. This is a great, great project. These kids who live in one of the toughest, most bombed districts in all of Donetsk have a place that they can come. They can learn self-defense. Uh, it gives them a chance to uh, learn how to protect themselves, to empower themselves, and also it gives them a chance to work toward the future. This district really is probably the most bombed district in the city these days. And these kids here, they have, you know, a lot of stress because of the shelling. So uh, it's, it's not every day, but it's quite common here. And these kids, you know, they wonder what their future is going to be. What we're doing here with the Ilya Muromets Judo Club is teaching them to be brave and strong, believe in themselves, and believe in their future. It's a tough neighborhood. These, these terracones, these hills right behind us, that's the front line right there. So everywhere in the Petrovsky district is inside range of Ukrop shelling, and they do it a lot here. We're going to go show you some good stuff that's happening here, thanks to Donbass Human Aid, thanks to all the other people that have pitched in, and uh, let's go see some kids do some judo. Petrovsky Rayon, House of Culture. Also now, Ilya Muromets School of Judo. Davai. These sandbags here, as you can see, they use these when they're shelling to cover up this entrance door. Super. This big mat here, nice and bouncy, this is the one that Donbass Human Aid brought to Ilya Muromets Judo Club last year. These here, also nice and soft. We brought eight more of these, which expands the whole place where they can uh, work out together. We got eight more of these. The parents pitched in and bought five more themselves, which is great. The Culture House has seen the great work they're doing here, and so now they're helping to uh, install new ceiling, lights. We're going to get a couple of climbing ropes over here, and a bunch more kids are going to be able to come here, uh, practice sports, self-defense, self-discipline. This is a tough neighborhood. This keeps the kids off the street, out from drinking beer and smoking cigarettes or getting into things that don't have a future. It's really cool. This is a great, great project. We're very proud that Donbass Human Aid has been able to uh, support it so much and we're going to keep doing it with your help. <laughs> Вот у нас, что не забывайте, 
Рады вас всегда видеть. Жаль, что редко бывает. Ну, ты знаешь, я и мой жена тоже из Петровский район. Но вы все хорошие люди, наша республика, это только один семья. Конечно. Мы все едины. Ну, вот, с благодарностью к вам ваш, за вашу помощь. Еще раз, а, значит, когда у нас будут планироваться какие-то мероприятия, соревнования, мы вас обязательно приглашаем. Я думаю, вы примете наше приглашение. Отлично. Спасибо большое. Мы сейчас находимся в Петровском перфронтовом районе. Рядом проходит линия фронта. Буквально 3-4 километра. Но линия фронта проходит не только по земле. Она проходит через души людей. И чтобы победить войну, победить зло, мы должны иметь силу и физическую, и духовную. И вот здесь мы наблюдаем, как в условиях войны дети побеждают войну силой добра, силой спорта. Это благодаря тому, что в мире находятся неравнодушные люди. И вот фонд помощи детям Донбасса как раз и является шефом вот этой спортивной секции, где детей учат силе и добру, чтобы победить войну, победить зло. Большое спасибо тем людям, которые находят отца далеко, но они понимают то, что происходит здесь, и пытаются помочь победить нам войну, чтобы она не пришла на вашу землю и в ваши дома. Спасибо вам за эту помощь. Но помните, войну нужно победить прежде всего своим сердцем и своей душой. Победить зло, вот тогда мир, доброта и сила торжествует в нашем мире. Да поможет нам Бог.